Welcome to my channel. Welcome everybody. Today we'll be making this French beret with a checkered fleece fabric. Measure your pattern. This is 12. When you bend it, this is 6. 6 all round. 6 here. 6 all round. Then you cut it to get this um, large circle that you will trace out. Pin it down to cut. You will be needing 3 pieces of this. Be sure to place it accurately so that you get the real measurement of your pattern to be the same. The same size. The three, the three pieces need to be the same size. Now you take on one of the three pieces and measure to cut out the head opening. I will usually use three inches. But because this fleece is soft and can stretch, I'm going to use 2.5. So measure 2.5, round, and cut out. You will need to do the same thing on a second piece. So this is the first one. We we'll go on to do another one. Fold. Measure 2.5 or 2.8, whatever the case may be. Make sure it's the same measurement around because you don't want your heart to be slanted. That's for the head opening. The, the other one will be used on the inside. So, you place the first one the right sides facing each other then you sew round when you've done that you bring it inside out you can iron it if you want to or you can go ahead and keep sewing <coughs> now you take the third piece you place it like this right side facing each other you will be sewing the um, head hole the the opening for the head just like that when you are done take it in and clean and give it more volume at the same time so you turn it inside out I like to clip the edges before I pin it to make sure it's not twisted now watch you fold it and put it on top of um, the stitches that you already made before so that when you sew it, it it looks clean you will try to sew it as close as possible on top of the one that you already made before now you have to keep folding and pinning it down all the way around the beret so you fold and pin fold and pin see what I'm doing you fold and pin when you have done it all around then you take it to your sewing machine and sew around now we're done sewing it we turn it inside out to get to the right side of the beret Now you can steam iron it to get all the stitches well straightened out.
if you like you can add the tail i don't know what it's called the thing that you put at the middle i'm gonna add to this one at least the person that ordered this wanted it so i'm gonna cut a little bit of this There is no special technique, just try to make it, you know, the best way you can. I will fold it and stitch down, then turn it inside out. I'm going to use needle and thread to um, do it by hand. Also, it's good to mark the middle so that you don't make a mistake and sew it uh, at the side of the hat. When it's all done, you knot it, tighten it to the best of your ability. Try to make it as clean as possible. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, like, and comment on this. Help boost this video. Okay. Now, when this is all done, you can watch other um, videos that I made where I, I made this uh, beret. I put some brooch on it. I'm not going to add any brooch to this one. Those other plain ones I made had brooch on it. It's not like you can't use brooch on this one. You can. It's all done. So what's next is to package it and mail it to the owner. Thank you for watching. i see you back soon again. Bye-bye.